Hey guys, welcome back to 31 Days of Pompoween. If you're new here, then welcome. My name is Pompberry, and this month I'm posting one video a day to celebrate Halloween. If you're not new here and you watched yesterday's video, you've probably already guessed what I'm doing today. You might be able to tell from the blonde hair, even though I'm missing some pigtails, which will be coming later. Today, I'm going to be doing bubbles from the Powerpuff Girls. If you haven't watched my blossom tutorial yet, then click right up here. I posted that one yesterday, and you can guess what's coming tomorrow, because I, I gotta complete the three. I mean, you kind of have to. Kind of hate this wig right now. It's the color of freshly bleached hair, and that is a particularly disgusting tone of blonde. <laughs> but the whole wig with the pigtails actually looks really cute, so I'll survive it. I'll be fine. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start, but before I begin, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and be sure to hit that bell button if you wanna be notified of the next Halloween videos coming up, which I am sure you do. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to quickly prime my skin with the NYX Bear With Me Jelly Primer. I've been really loving this primer. It's not too heavy on my oily areas, and it's great for my dry areas. So it's perfect for if you have combination skin like I do. And if there's ever any excess, just apply it to your neck. <laughs> I'm gonna tuck my wig back for a second, so don't at me, okay? You can see my hair. But before I go in with color corrector and foundation, I'm going to use a cream highlighter. This one is the Enchantress from Ritual Defeat. It is a blue highlighter, and because I'm going for a monochromatic blue look today, I want to give my skin a kind of icy blue glow. But I want it to be still somewhat discreet. I want it to just peek through the foundation. So I'm applying it before, and hopefully that will just give me a nice glow through the foundation. I'm applying it to the high points of my face, so my brow bone, my temples, my cheekbone, and I'm really kind of working it into the skin because it has a sort of balmy texture, and I don't want it to interfere with the foundation itself. So I'm really just working it into the skin so it's not just a layer sitting on my skin. Apply it to my chin, my cupid's bow, tip of my nose, bridge of my nose. This is optional, obviously, but I think it's just a cool little detail. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Yellow Corrector, and I'm going to use that to conceal all my little blemishes and the dark circles under my eyes. This will allow me to use less concealer, less foundation. If you correct the color first, you'll be able to use less products when trying to cover it up. I like to let that sit for a little bit before I blend, and then I just blend it in with with my finger. Once I've let that set for a bit, I'm going in with my foundation, and today I'm using the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation, and I just like to dot it on with my finger, and then just blend it out with a sponge. And you can still see that glow peeking through, but it looks much more natural, and it just gives a little hint of blue to the skin. Once that's done, I'm going in with the Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay and just correcting a few spots that need some extra coverage. And I also like to blend out my concealer with my fingers. Then I'm going to set everything with the Milk Makeup Blur and Set Powder. Just going to do some very strategic powdering just under my eyes so that my concealer doesn't crease. And then around my nose, which is where I'm the most oily. And then my forehead. For some extra mattifying goodness, I'm going in with the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Powder Foundation. And this stuff is intense. I'm just going to apply that to my forehead. Now I am going to go in with the Brow Gal Eyebrow Pencil in the color Blonde 06. And my actual eyebrow hairs match the color of the wig, but we need a little bit more definition. So I'm just going to go in and start drawing in a little eyebrow. So not used to eyebrow pencils anymore. I always use a brush to do my brows. This feels like super foreign to me. I am however going to take a brush so I can kind of blend that out and into my brow hairs. Don't be afraid to use a brush if you have to. A pencil is still a creamy product that you can move around with a brush, so do whatever works best for you. I'm gonna try to keep the brows pretty rounded because she is very innocent and playful. Rounder brows help to add to that look. 
Then I think I'm going to go in with the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in the color Blonde. I'm just going to run that through my brow hairs. would love it if the wig would stop getting in the way. So it's just going to add a little bit texture to the eyebrow. And it's also good because it will hold them in place. Because these ones on the ends tend to want to move around a lot. Once the brows are done, I'm just going to make sure that my eyes are prepped and primed for eyeshadow so I'm just going in with some concealer over my lid and then just setting that with a powder close to my skin tone. Now I'm gonna get started with the eyes and I'm going in with the Strobe Cosmetics Creepy Cute Palette. I'm going in with the color Cold Shoulder and this is going to be sort of my transition shade. I'm applying it all on my crease, concentrating it in the outer corner. And as with Blossom, I'm not going to be extending this eyeshadow out. I want to make my eyes seem much more rounded. So I'm just going to essentially draw a circle around my eye. Applying it close to the bottom lash line. Going kind of above my crease too. Blending it towards my eyebrow. I'm using the powder I use to set my eyes to just kind of help blend that out. Because it is very pigmented. Next I'm going in with Sugar Pills Velocity, which is this darker blue here. And I'm just going to intensify that crease, really defining it. And you can see I'm drawing it above my natural crease, and that's because I really want to round out my eye. Going close to the lash line on the bottom. Then I'm going back over with Cold Shoulder just to kind of intensify and brighten up everything and then deepening again with Velocity. Just kind of have to build up the opacity and the brightness. Now I'm a little afraid that this product is going to be too dark for my lid but I'm going to give it a shot. And this is the ColourPop Jelly Much eyeshadow in the color Just Your Voice. This is from the Disney Villains collection that they had. This is actually my first time using it. And then with a flat brush I'm just going to swipe that across my lid. Oh that is so pretty. But that is a little bit dark maybe. Maybe not. I might have to darken my crease because of that now. But it looks pretty cool, so I'll allow it. <laughs> you know what? I kind of want to apply a little bit on my lower lash line. Just to give it that shine. Okay, now because I went a little bit darker on the lid, I'm going to have to darken the crease a little bit more. Just so that there's a little bit more definition there. So I'm going to go in with the Melt Blueprint Stack. And I'm going to go in with the color Dim Out. Just barely touching it. This is insanely pigmented. And I'm taking it on a very tiny pencil brush. See how pigmented that is? I just barely touched the eyeshadow and it has a ton of payoff. This is honestly my favorite little brush to do kind of detail crease work like this. This is the Omnia 435 and it's just like the perfect size to get right in there. And then I can just blend it out with the previous brush I used. See, I don't want to darken the look too much. I just want to give a little bit more definition to the crease. A little bit to the outer corner of the bottom lash line. Then because I added some glitter on Blossom, I don't want her sister to feel left out. So I'm going to add a little bit of glitter to the center of the lids. I'm going to apply it with the NYX Glitter Primer. And I'm going to be using the Lit Cosmetics X-Ray in the size number 4. And I'm just taking that primer on a flat brush and just applying it to where I would like the glitter to stick to. And then I pick up the glitter with that same brush and just pat it on. This is a glitter that kind of only shows up when the light is hitting it. It's a really cool effect, but it can be really discreet if the light isn't hitting it. Then for my inner corner as a base, I'm going in with the blueprint stack again with a color skylight. And I'm just going to pack that onto my inner corner. I don't know if I like that so much. I'm going to layer some stuff here and see how it goes. Then I'm going to go in with the Ritual Defeat Celestial Sphere Eye Soot in the color Pixis. This is a cream color. It's a really weird consistency. I'm going to take that and just apply it over top. 
Ooh, I like that. That's so icy. And then to give that an even extra oomph, I'm going in with the Makeup Forever Starlit Diamond Powder in the color 104. And this one has a blue shift to it. It's like a pinky blue shift. But the Starlit Diamond Powders are almost like micro glitters. They are insanely beautiful. Oh my god. I don't even know if the camera can capture that, but it just kind of makes everything look metallic because they're these super, super finely milled sparkles. I honestly don't know another product like them. I've never seen something that's so finely milled. kind of also want to add this to my lids just in the center. kind of want to take some more velocity and go under my bottom lash line just under where i applied the cream color just kind of want to intensify this bottom lash line a little bit and now i'm going to line my eyes with the fenty beauty fly liner i think i'm gonna go for a big wing oh, probably should have done the glitter after because it's getting in the way a little bit i'm doing it kind of straight out now that that's done i'm gonna pretend i didn't have to redo this eye I'm going to darken the lower lash line with the Melt Blue eyeshadow, having it meet up with that liner. Now I'm going to move on to blush, and I'm going to go in with the NYX HD blush in the color Baby Doll. And I'm going to apply that to the very top of the apples of my cheeks. And this is a cool tone pink, so you see it mixes in with that blue highlighter really, really well. I'm building this up gradually. I'm still not sure how intense I want this blush. And I'm also going to apply some to the very tip of my nose and to my chin as well. I'm going to take that blush on a small fluffy brush and I'm just going to apply it around the tip of my nose, under my nose. Then for contour, I'm going to take the Koki Powder Contour Palette and I'm going to take this cool tone right here and just contour my nose a little bit. With Blossom, I created a little button nose illusion. I don't think I'm going to do that with Bubbles. Getting kind of like a baddie vibe from her. I think she grew up and she got a little sassy. She got a little, little less innocent. So I'm not going to do the little button nose. But I am going to contour. And then I'm also going to contour my cheekbones with that. I'm going to apply that right in the hollows of my cheeks. Just give a little bit of definition to the cheekbones. I don't want her to be super chiseled, but I like a little bit of definition. And I'm also going to contour under my chin, just because I always like to contour my chin a little bit. I think for my lips, I'm going to do the thing that I like to do, and that's shading around the lips with an eyeshadow. And I'm going to use the light blue from the Creepy Cute palette. I'm concentrating this on the outer corners under my bottom lip. And then I'm also taking a little bit of that blush that I used on the cheeks and just blending out the edges to soften them up a little bit. And then I'm also applying that blush to my Cupid's bow area. And before I forget, I'm going to go in with a highlighter. This is the NYX Twilight Tint duochrome highlighter. It has a blue shift to it and I'm just going to take that lightly just over where I applied the other highlighter just to intensify the blue a little bit more. Now for lips, I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil and the color No Boundaries Blush. I'm going to overline the Cupid's bow. This is quite a light colored pencil. I think I might need to grab another one. I'm going to take the NYX Slide On Glide On pencil in the color Need Me and I'm going to overline my Cupid's bow with this. I really want to make the lips look super pouty. Then I'm going to take the NYX Pin Up Pout in the color Darling and fill everything in. It's a color that really matches the blush that I used. And then I think I'm going to add a little bit of the Black Moon Cosmetics Nightmare to the center of my lips. Let me blot this off first. I'm going to add this to the very center it's because this is a super bright pink. It smells so good. And then I'm just going to blend that out with a brush. Then I'm going to take some concealer on a teeny, teeny, tiny brush. And I'm just going to clean up the edges. That really helps to define the shape. And I don't mind if the lines are like super visible, that kind of adds a cartoonish effect to the lips. 
Then I also want to add a blue element to the lip, so I'm going to top it with a blue shimmery gloss. This is from Incredible Cosmetics in a Dream World Gloss in the color Rainbow Hooves and Crazy Moves. And I'm just going to take some on the back of my hand because I don't want to get the applicator dirty. And then scooping it up with my little lip brush. And then apply it to my cupid's bow and to the center of my bottom lip. Oh my god, I look so 90s right now with a blue eye and a pink iridescent lip. That's kind of appropriate for Powerpuff Girls, right? kind of just want to go in and intensify this blue on the outer corners. Because I feel like it became kind of purple. Still want it to have that hint of blue. Now to line my waterline, I'm going in with the NYX Jumbo Pencil in the color Milk. And so that I don't ruin my makeup, trying to pull down my eye with my finger, I'm going in with a Q-tip and doing that. That just makes the eyes look super big and cartoony. And now I'm going in with mascara. I'm going with the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara and applying plenty on both my top and bottom lashes. Kind of want to define that lip shape a little bit more. So I'm just going in with a concealer and then not blending it out. Now I'm going to apply false lashes. I'm going to be using the Rouge and Rogue China Doll on my top lash and the Elevation Lashes Freedom 7 for the bottom. I'm using these little individual tufts, just three on each side. So I added two close to the outer edge and then one right in the center. I think it just gives a really cute touch. I think that's it for the makeup. I'm just going to add a touch more of blush, just a touch. And now I'm gonna go put on the rest of the wig and I'll be back to show you the finished look. And this is the finished look. This wig is kind of ridiculous. These are clip-on pigtails. I feel like an anime girl, honestly, with this wig. It's kind of crazy, but I think this turned out pretty cute. And honestly, this look could be used for like a Barbie costume or even a more glammed up baby spice costume. Who knows? Anna, I kind of want to dress up like the Spice Girls with my friends. But yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for tuning in to another day of Pompoween. If this is your first Pompoween video, be sure to check out the other ones that I have already released this month. There's some really fun stuff in there that I hope you'll like, and I really hope you like this one. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all my patrons who support me. And if you want to see some behind the scenes videos for Pompoween and some other fun stuff, be sure to check out my Patreon. I'll leave the link down below. And don't forget to tune in tomorrow for another day of Pompoween. I'll see you then. Bye!